You know, when, when our Lord says, judge not, lest you be judged, some people say, well, you, you're not supposed to judge me, you're not supposed to judge me. That's not true, because we are told in the Scripture to evaluate everything, to discern everything. But what it means, basically, is you're not the final judge. You're not sitting in final judgment on anybody's life, because Paul says to the Corinthians, even when I know nothing against myself, herein am I not justified, only God knows my motives and the inner thoughts. So we, we can certainly look at someone's life and make a determination, and we need to do that. By their fruits, we will know them. So we need to make determinations about people's spiritual condition by what we see and what we observe. But that is not the final judgment. The final judgment rests with God. Welcome back to Narrow Path Doctrine. My name is Jim. Have you ever heard anyone say, oh, you're not supposed to judge. Don't, don't, don't be judging. Jesus said, hey, don't judge. Look at Matthew 7, 1, judge not that ye be not judged, right? Don't be judging people. That's God's, that's God's job. He's supposed to judge people, not you. I want to take a look this time around at judging righteously. Look at this in further detail here. In the Bible, Jesus teaches us the importance of judgment, but it must be done righteously. Today, I want to take a look at what it means to judge righteously according to the teachings of Jesus and other biblical principles and to dispel the notion that we are to not judge others that so many say when you begin to judge righteously. John 7, 24, this is Jesus speaking, of course, judge not according to the appearance, but judge righteous judgment. So right there, Jesus tells us, Jesus emphasizes that our judgments should be based on outward appearance, are not based on outward appearances, but should be righteous. This means our judgments should be fair, just, and based on truth. And what is the truth? The word of God. We should, of course, always avoid hypocritical judgment, Matthew 7, 1 through 5 says, Judge not that ye not be judged, for with what judgment ye judge, ye shall be judged, and with what measure ye meet, it shall be measured to you again. And why beholdest thou the mote that is in your brother's eye, but considerest not the beam that is in your own eye? Or how wilt thou say to thy brother, Let me pull out the mote of thine eye, and behold, a beam is in thine own eye, thou hypocrite? First cast out the beam out of thine own eye, and then shalt thou see clearly to cast out the mote out of thy brother's eye. Jesus warns against hypocritical judgment here. We must first examine ourselves and our faults before we can help others with theirs. The self-examination leads to humility and a more righteous form of judgment. So, of course, if we are doing something and we judge somebody on that same thing, this is what Jesus is saying, right? We are not to do that. But we are to judge righteously. James 2, 1 to 4 says, My brethren, have not the faith of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Lord of glory, with respect to persons? For if there come unto your assembly a man with a gold ring in goodly apparel, and there come in also a poor man in vile raiment, and ye have respect to him that weareth the gay clothing, and say unto him, Sit thou here in a good place, and say to the poor, Stand thou there, or sit here under my footstool. Are ye not then partial in yourselves, and are become judges of evil thoughts? James instructs believers not to show favoritism or judge based on social status or outward appearance. Our judgments must reflect God's standards, which are impartial and just. 1 Corinthians 2.15 says, But he that is spiritual judgeth all things, yet he himself is judged of no man. Spiritual discernment is necessary for righteous judgment. Those who are led by the Spirit of God can judge rightly because they understand and apply God's wisdom through all the Word of God states. It's always based on the Bible and what the truth says. James 1 5 says, If any of you lack wisdom, let him ask of God that giveth to all men liberally and upbraideth not, and it shall be given him. To judge righteously, we need wisdom from God. By seeking his guidance and wisdom, we can make judgments that are fair and aligned with his will and his word. So, in conclusion, judging righteously is an essential aspect of giving a or living a godly life. It requires self-examination, discernment, impartiality, and wisdom from God. By following these biblical principles, we can ensure our judgments are just and pleasing 
to God. When Jesus says, judge not lest you be judged, he is reflecting on the leaders of Israel who rendered final judgment on people, who literally anathematized people, who thought they were the final court. That's what he's talking about. He's not saying you can't look at people's lives and make a determination because he says in the same breath, by their fruits, you shall know them. People don't want to talk about that. You can look at someone's life and you can see by the fruit of their life whether they have spiritual life. All right, that's going to wrap up this episode here on Narrow Path Doctrine. Thank you so much for joining me today. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Be sure to share it with others and click the uh, subscribe button if you have not done so as of yet, and the notification bell to get updates when new videos like this one come out. So until next time, remember, true doctrine fuels a living, breathing faith. God bless.